uh, hey everyone so today we'll be uh, learning about remix ide uh, you can simply google uh, remix ide and uh, click on the first link which is uh, remix.ethereum.org uh, so what is a uh, remix remix is uh, an online ide which is uh, basically very useful when you are uh, playing with smart contracts trying uh, and deploying and debugging the contracts uh, it may be very useful in the starting phase of your development journey but once you start developing very uh, complex projects uh, you need to move to something uh, like uh, Hardhat or Foundry so let's start uh, with uh, Remix so we have four tabs right here the first one is the file explorer so it contains the contracts uh, it's the uh, simple smart contracts which is a uh, already in the remix ide then we have some javascript uh, uh, for the it is it's like a deployment script and we have some test file for one of the uh, smart contracts which is ballot right so the file explorer simply contains all the files and everything right uh, next we have a search file uh, which we which uh, we can use to search any uh, thing in the whole uh, file explorer so if you want to search for a particular function we can simply search here and we can add some customization using uh, regex and uh, filters it can be very useful to find for some uh, items uh, and then we have solidity compiler so here we can select our solidity version uh, which we want to compile for our smart contracts and finally we have a run and deploy transaction so here we can select our environments uh, currently we are into remix virtual machine which is a local uh, virtual machine we have many options out here uh, we can uh, use the mainnet fork the testnet fork like gorelli or sepolia uh, we can also use our uh, hard drive for ripe hard i'm sorry uh, we can also use our hardware provider, Ginash provider or Foundry. Uh, also we can inject uh, any Web3 from uh, Metamask or any other wallet. So uh, below the environment is the accounts. So uh, we, ha we have given with some of the test accounts with some uh, ether which can be used for testing purpose and uh, yeah. Uh, now let us uh, create a simple solidity file or a smart contract and test with deploying it so uh, we can let me zoom in a bit yeah and just uh, name our file let's uh, name our contract as uh, set value dot so so uh, let's start with pragma solidity 0 0.8.17 or let's say 18 uh, let's name our contract same con set value uh, this will be a very simple uh, contract which will uh, which will just set a value of a particular variable uh, that's all we are not uh, using any uh, this isn't a solidity tutorial so we are not uh, writing any uh, complex project okay so let's start so let's uh, declare a variable public variable and name it a number or num and uh, let's create a function set num uh, it will take a value of uh, unsigned integer and uh, let's keep it public and finally it will assign the uh, value we input to the num public variable so to compile uh, this thing we can simply go to uh, solidity compile and just click on compile where set value dot uh, apart from this we can also uh, click on control plus s shortcut to compile this thing so uh, that everything is right so we are getting an error here which is uh, spdx license identifier not. so it's not a major issue so we will not be resolving it and let's uh, move on to deployment 
so we can choose any accounts of our choice uh, and we can simply click on deploy uh, here we need to choose our uh, contract we want to deploy so currently we have only one contract so it's uh, set by default and here we can access our deployed contract so here is two function one function is set num which we have uh, created and another is a public getter function of num public variable uh, the getter function is already created by itself so currently it's initialized to zero as we haven't uh, provided anything here so let's change it to 10 and once we click on set num it will send a transaction and we can see that transaction has been uh, successfully executed and once we call the num again we will see the value change to 10 let us try it once more and click on 19 and click on set num and we can see that uh, yeah it got executed again and this time we call num it will return 19 so this is the basic uh, overview of uh, remix IDE uh, you can also uh, inspect more about the function calls and lower level stuff so uh, if we click on uh, this thing we find out that uh, which address is calling uh, what function is being called to which address and what is the execution cost the gas and everything what is the input and yes input is uh, 19 we just inputted so uh, this is it for this video this video was a basic introduction video on remix ide in the upcoming videos we will be learning about smart contract attack vectors in uh, and also we will be learning foundry framework for developing and testing smart contracts uh, till then uh, follow and subscribe quill academy 